So you know there's a million MPPT charge controllers that are uh, just set up for running 100 watts out there. I want to talk about this one. This is the Bateria Power MPPT Solar Charge Controller. The reason why I want to talk about this one is it's very efficient. It has everything I need in here. It automatically detects my 12 volts. There, It comes with a booklet that's actually understandable. I can actually understand this thing. And it's simple. This is one thing I really, really like about it. And I know there's, there's a bunch of them out there, but this is one thing I really like. So, on an RV, and this is the side that would hook to the RV. It says a battery, so that goes to the battery, which is to the RV. You have RV plugs that could be backwards. And the reason why this happens is some RVs wire their uh, charge uh, plugs for their external solar for a specific brand and their SAE might be the other direction. So you don't want to buy their specific brand because it's going to cost you three times the amount of money. So what you do is you buy one of these and it comes with the switch adapter. So instead of having to uh, rewire your RV uh, where the, the solar plug-in is, you can just put this on there and now it flipped the other way. I don't have to wire my RV. I can just plug this in there and it automatically flipped it the correct way for me. So I really appreciate that it came with that little adapter. Now another thing it comes with is these. So if you don't have a pre-wired solar plug, SAE plug, most RVs do have them, but in case you don't, you can take this and wire that up to your battery and you know, wire this up to your solar panels, you know, whatever you need to do. So it gives you the wiring that you can do, you know, it, it comes with everything basically. That's what I really, really like about this thing. So if I had to, I can wire that to my battery. And if I had to cut my solar wires that my solar panel came with, I can just cut it and wire that to my solar panels. Then I can just plug it in just like that and my solar would be hooked up. So I just appreciate that it came with everything. And now let's talk about the features of this thing. So, you know, it's got gel battery, AGM, and LiPo 4. It has a little uh, meter. Um, the configurations are really easy. I'm going to show you that right now, how to hook this thing up. So let's hook it up and show you. So Bateria reached out to me to have me test this product. And they gave it to me for free. So I gave it a good test run. Uh, I'm going to show you what all the results are on this test. But that's why I'm showing it to you all. I really like this product. It did a great job. It was very, very easy to use and to figure out. And that's why I'm showing it to you all right now. So what I have here for the demonstration is just a cheap 100 watt Harbor Freight set of solar panels. Any solar panels will work, but you know, this good cheap set to give it a good test run. Now this is the main reason why I chose the Harbor Freight set. It had a SAE connection already on it. So here's your RV port and let's plug in the power to it. Plugged in, do I have power? Yes, because I have 12.9 volts and I am creating no amps of power from the solar panels because there's no solar hooked up. So number one rule of any, any MPPT charge control or PWM, any charge control you have, always hook it up to your battery first because you don't want to put power into this thing and not have a place for it to go. So plug it into the battery or the port, then everything works. If I want to change battery types, I hold the set button down until it blinks. Then I can click it over to gel, AGM, LiPo 4, hold it down again until it quits blinking. Now I'm set for a LiPo 4 battery. So let's hook it up to my solar panel. I'm hooked up, oh, air code 13. You know why that happened? This panel is backwards. That's what that adapter came with was for. So put the adapter on. It wasn't the charge controller's fault. It was the solar panel's fault. It was backwards. So now we are charging. We have a solar panel hooked up. MPPT charge controller is charging. We are getting 0.4 amps of juice right now. Now the sky is completely cloudy today. So I'm not gonna get a good charge off of this, but we're showing you the proper way to hook these things up. And of course, MPPT charge controller is gonna give you the most power you can get out of these things. You can just let it hang here, solar panels. 
gives you a nice extra solar set if you need it. You know, I got 500 watts on the roof, and once in a while, I need a little bit of extra power, and this is a good way to do it. Quick, easy. I don't have to tear into my battery to hook some alligator clips up. I just plug it here, plug it here, and I'm done. So nice, easy way to get an extra 100 watts on your RV. And like I said, MPPT charge controller, so you're gonna get the most power out of that wattage. So I wanted to show you this real quick. This is the air code list. So it's not an air code for you know the device having an issue. It's an air code for issues on the system. For example, uh, my solar reverse polarity. That was when I plugged in, I got the Air 13. It meant my solar cable was reversed. It was the wrong order. And I just hooked in that little adapter and it worked. The adapter, by the way, the charge controller came with. So good job, Bateria. So an E14 code would have meant that your RV port would have been wired in backward. So I really appreciate that it has all these air codes that tell me what is going on instead of just not trying to figure it out, you know, on its own. Really appreciate that. Good job, Bateria. So that's it for this video. And like I said, simple things to do. That's why I like this one. And if you like what we're doing, please subscribe and we'll see you next episode.